Supervised mode is a game changer if you're trying to enforce restrictions on an iPhone or an iPad. I'm going to walk you through a fast and simple way to enable supervised mode without any data loss. You can use supervised mode to reliably restrict what apps can be used on the device. You can restrict VPNs from being installed, and you can also protect DNS settings so that the internet on your device is always being routed through a filtering service that blocks millions of websites. There's also the Living Room Accountability app that I helped launch, which records the full screen on the iPhone. It captures screenshots from any app that's used on the device. But if you want to use it on a device that doesn't use Apple Family, like potentially a, an adult's device, then you would need to set up supervised mode on the iPhone that uses Living Room. If you wanna learn more about how I use supervised mode, check out my video on why I made the switch to an iPhone, where I go through some of the most common use cases for supervised mode. Now I'm going to enable supervised mode on my iPhone and I'll walk you through the whole process from start to finish. Check out the pinned comment below and open the guide that I've linked there in a new tab so that you can follow along with this video. So to get started, you're going to need either a Mac or a Windows computer, and you'll need to have an Apple charging cable that you can connect your iPhone directly to one of these computers. This process can take as little as five minutes, but I'd recommend that you allocate about 20 minutes just in case you need a little bit more time for the setup process. So here's the iPhone I'm about to set up supervised mode on, which has a lot of apps installed, and I've added one note-taking app in particular that does not use the cloud to back up your notes. So if you lose your app data, all the notes on this app will get wiped out. Now, if we jump ahead to when supervised mode has been enabled, you'll see that if I open settings on this device, there's this message saying the device is supervised. And then if I go back to my app page, you'll see all the same apps are still installed and they're even in the same places on the screen. Opening up the notes app, you'll see that the note I created previously is still there. And that's because there's no app data that gets lost in this process. So the first step is to download and open the supervised mode setup tool onto your computer. You can get access to this tool in the Tech Lockdown dashboard. Just in case the dashboard looks a little bit different from when I made this video, it'll be easier if you can just reference the new screenshots in the guide. So on either your Windows or your Mac computer, open up your Tech Lockdown account and go to the iPhone setup section and select Enable Supervised Mode. Select either the Mac or Windows setup instructions, depending on which computer you're using. The Windows instructions are slightly different. There's a few additional steps. So just make sure you pay close attention to the instructions that are specific to the computer that you're using. I'm using a Mac in this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and download the version of the tool that works on my Mac. And then I'm gonna open Finder and double click what I just downloaded to access the application and open it on my computer. Now I'm going to use my Apple charging cable to connect my iPhone to my Mac computer. And then it's really important that after you connect it to the cable, you unlock your iPhone. And then if you see a message that says whether or not to trust the computer, make sure you trust it. Otherwise the iPhone won't be able to connect to the computer properly. Now that the device is connected with the cable, I'm going to click the next button in the setup tool and confirm the connected device. At this point in the process, we need to temporarily turn off Find My iPhone because it will conflict with the setup process. After we've finished enabling supervised mode, make sure you turn back on Find My iPhone. On your iPhone, go into the Settings app and then search for Stolen Device Protection. Make sure you temporarily turn this off because it prevents you from turning off Find My iPhone. Now you can go to the Find My section of iPhone settings and then turn off Find My iPhone. There's also an iCloud feature called Private Relay that can sometimes conflict with the setup process, so I just recommend temporarily turning it off just to be on the safe side. Currently, Private Relay is an iCloud Plus feature, so if you're paying for iCloud, uh, go into your iPhone settings under the iCloud Plus section and just make sure that Private Relay is temporarily turned off. Now that we've turned off any features that might conflict with the setup process, now we can click Enable Supervised Mode. You should see that your device turned off and then turns back on, and there should be an Apple logo with a loading bar, and eventually it'll show you a screen that says to either swipe up or press the home button to continue the upgrade. After a few minutes, you should see the iPhone's welcome screen, and then you can unlock your phone. You should open the settings app just to confirm that you see the message at the top that says that the iPhone is supervised. 
You should have access to a few of your apps already, but you might see some apps have a loading indicator and it should take a few minutes before you can access those apps again. I hope this video has been helpful. Please leave a comment or question below and check out techlockdown.com for more free guides and advice.